these points need to get hand filed so that it fits perfectly into its spot. Now after cutting out the letters, taping them down, and now doing a uh, scribing around the letters, each one of them all the way around so we can then inlay them. Letters are now hand cut out, hand carved, ready to be placed in. I hope she fits. There's the Kai. At this point, is uh, situated the star in the middle of the table. And he's tacking down a few points so that it lays absolutely flush against the background so he can scribe around it. Dave's in the process of carefully chiseling out up to the line. Dave's uh, rounding out the star here, but he's having a good time. Slow and easy, baby. And so here we have Dave chiseling the edges of the uh, outline for the star prior to introducing the star itself. Now we're now going to get the star put in, and uh, Walt's going to... Uh, Paint up the back. Start painting up the uh, inside of this here now, and we'll get this totally covered. And then we're getting that put right in there with all the glue. And start tapping it down. And now we basically uh, just clamp the heck out of the star. Now after uh, sanding the heck out of it and wetting it, we'll let it sit and uh, then take it down to uh, 120 and then uh, 150 grit. Walter has now just uh, routed the profile shape on the uh, edge of the table. We're going to flip it and then he'll do the bottom part. At this point, I have I've uh, fitted all the the uh, molding here, which you see. Um, as I mentioned yesterday, I had to had to add on to these two central long sweeping sections to to uh, obtain the length that I needed via this uh, sort of a locking scarf joint. Then in these corners, I'll fit in a pretty substantial glue block that will help secure this joint right here. That will only really be glued to the back side of this, of course, not to the uh, underside of the table itself pretty major battens here that you can see in poplar one in the middle one on either side uh, which will be simply screwed into the underside of the top just to uh, assure its rigidity if you will and we'll be able to undo all of this flip it over and and finish the top we have just glued up both ends with the stretcher in between so we'll leave those on probably overnight and uh, declamp it in the morning. Going through our final sanding stages here. Every edge gets sanded uh, down to 180 along with the top surface and then we'll be uh, ready to mate that uh, with the bases here. Now we got the whole thing put together upside down and we're Marking where the pieces are all going to go as it gets screwed in. Prior to staining, we're getting the uh, star masked off with the special green tape to uh, keep the stain from getting in that area where we don't want it to be. And that's what the star looks like uh, prior to staining. Stain is applied and rubbed. Doesn't look that beautiful yet. No. Soon will.
I'm thinking maybe we'll leave the tape on that star because it's kind of, I like that green. Here's hoping the tape worked. After a very durable catalyzed varnish finish was applied to the table, we're now loading it up, getting ready to go to Boston after a week of record snows. Kai-Fi. Walt getting the final screws in. Designed and named by Walt Whiteley, your PA, with help from friend and cohort. Alright, let's unveil it. I want to see it. <laughs> I think Tom should have the honor. I want Tom to unveil it. <laughs> I'll tell you what, Tom, come down here and you can grab a corner and we'll just, we'll just, okay. we'll just walk her back. Oh, hey, and we get, had that aiming in the right direction <laughs> without even thinking about it, didn't lucky. we? Remember we whatever you want it. Oh, yeah. 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 It doesn't matter. Whatever you want. Uh, isn't she a beauty? Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Good, Good job. job. Here we are on uh, Hereford Street in front of the uh, Andrew Mansion where the library table is, and we're going to go see how it looks now. Hey Jim. Congratulations. Oh, Have thank you. Travel. And on February 20th, 2010, the alumni group of the Chi Phi fraternity was able to hold its annual meeting at its new library table. New lamps installed and a fitting beginning to the new table's life.